Hello and welcome back to another episode of All Code Sucks. And in this one, we're going to show a little shell mistake that I've actually seen at three companies now. So it's very easy to make. Uh, I'm going to show you why it sort of works and another situation where it definitely doesn't work and then show you a way to avoid making this mistake. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so the intent of the original author was to ignore all exit codes from a particular command, uh, basically allowing something to fail. And the way that they did this is by, uh, instead of doing, you know, <laughs> bash dash c exit one or true, which is the, the, the normal way to ignore the exit code of something. So you can see this exits zero now, even though this exited one. What they did instead was piped the result to true. And this sort of works, but it has a few problems. Uh, the first problem is that a pipe is different than or. Uh, this basically redirects the output of this command into this program. So the first problem is that this program is completely silent. Uh, however, <laughs> if this program generates too much output, the pipe will also fail as well. So for instance, if we do, uh, let's say print a times, I think I only need 4,000 characters, but this will work. Exit one. Uh, I'll do raise system exit one. Actually, I don't know if that's gonna work on its own line, we'll see. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, if you pipe this to true, this will actually fill up the pipe buffer because true is not gonna read its input. It has nothing, you know, it, it doesn't need to manipulate any input, so it doesn't bother reading it. Uh, this is going to fill up the pipe buffer and then fail in a different way. You'll see here that we got this weird exception ignored in IO textile wrapper, blah, 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 broken pipe. Uh, and I think this still actually ignores the exit code, so it still sort of works, yeah. <laughs> It still sort of works, but you get this annoying output on the end. Uh, and that's because we filled up the pipe. Uh, the way pipes work is you send data to them and then you can read from them. And if nothing reads from it, you fill it up and you end up uh, in this situation here. In some other situations, some other programs, uh, instead of having a broken pipe error, will just block. They'll wait until the pipe has data available and so they'll just sit there forever. So it's possible that this little pipe true thing could hang forever. Python, of course, interrupts it, but other things could, you know, catch sig pipe and continually retry sending stuff rather than erroring immediately. Now, uh, you know, I've already showed you the fix. The fix is to do or or true. However, uh, this, you know, the, the mistake here is something that we should probably be able to catch and probably be able to have a better situation than what's happening here. And my recommendation for this, and I've recommended this before, is to always use this little header uh, on the top of programs, dash EUO pipe fail, which is basically set dash E, set, set dash U, set dash O pipe fail. And you can optionally do set dash X if you want it to be in verbose mode. The important bit here is that in dash O pipe fail mode, a pipe to true will still fail even if the base command fails. So if we did, dash dash o pipe fail uh, and dash c and we did false is an easy command that uh, always exits non-zero uh, so if we do false or true and then look at the exit code here we'll see that we still get exit code one and so that would force us to intentionally do pipe pipe true uh, you know or true so that we're actually ignoring the exit code whereas if we didn't have pipe fail both of those are going to return uh, zero here, so in both the pipe version and the non-pipe version. Uh, and so that's you know, one of the reasons that I recommend dash o pipe fail. Uh, the rest of this is E is exit on error, U is error on undefined variables. Uh, so that's what I typically put on shell scripts. Although, <laughs> just write in, a, write in an actual programming language, don't write shell. Uh, but anyway, this is a, a mistake that I've seen many, many times. Uh, pretty easy one to make, as well as kind of the the ways it fails and how you can fix it by using pipe fail and you know the actual pipe pipe true. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next one.